So one of the most common questions my patients ask me is actually, how much water do I need in a day? We know that water is essential to human life. We know that we can't really survive without it for longer than three days. And that for years, we've heard that it would be best, or this is what I usually tell my patients, is to at least get eight glasses of water per day. But is there truth to this recommendation? Up to now, one critical question remains. How much water should we really be drinking? Let's watch this. The controversy again with regard to how much water do we need to take sparked debates again as headlines recently from two major newspapers questioned the intake of eight glasses of water as actually being too much. It is said that the recommendation to drink eight glasses of water per day have been misinterpreted as apparently the scientific recommendation was based on all water intake including water and food. So depending on who you ask, there is really no hard and fast rule for determining how much water to drink every day. In fact, surveys have shown that several people apparently have no idea how much water they have drunk in a day. So this data therefore clearly demonstrates that fluid intake is not really a hard and fast rule but often a result of one's habit, one's usual habit, on total targets rather than on one's daily need. So that apparently as noted, daily needs of water change on a regular basis depending on your body's water turnover rate. So how much therefore is enough? Now a good rule of thumb is to remember 15 cups a day of water for men and 11 cups of water a day for women. But always bear in mind that this recommendation includes total fluids. Remember that you get as much as 20 to 30% of your water from food, especially fruits. However, if you're sick, you'll need more, especially with fever or gastrointestinal symptoms like diarrhea and vomiting. Likewise, you need more if you're exercising or outside of the heat. One needs to take in more fluids. Now, if you wait for yourself to be thirsty before you drink, remember, our thirst tells us a lot because by the time we're thirsty, we're already 1% to 2% dehydrated. Another more reliable marker whether you're not drinking enough water is the color of your urine. The darker the urine the more concentrated it is. So if you wake up in the morning and your urine is super dark like apple juice color, you probably did a bad job the day before consuming fluids and should make an effort to address it going forward, which is that day. You will also know if your water intake is enough because number one, you stay regular, meaning you don't get constipated. Second, your joints work better as water makes up a large part of your joint cartilage. You also sweat. As a result, if you also drink enough water, you can avoid dehydration and your kidneys stay healthier. Remember, water helps your kidneys remove waste from your blood. Any buildup of waste is harmful. Enough water also keeps your brain sharp. With enough water, you can think clearly and concentrate as easily. You also don't easily get tired or fatigued. And in fact, people who just had two to three more cups of water a day seem to have less sugar, salt, and overall calories during the day. Therefore, drinking enough water can also help maintain your weight. What's also very important is drinking enough water can make your heart work better. And of course, since you're less dehydrated, you're less likely to be dizzy or faint. Overall, therefore, there's no hard and fast rule as to how much water you should take. Try to rely on the color of the urine. Feeling dehydrated therefore tells you that you're not drinking enough water. Likewise, my advice to my patients is always drink one glass of water before and after each meal. 
and in between. This rule of thumb can actually help you no longer need to count on the glasses of water you need to take, but probably enough water to keep your body healthy. Again, this is Dr. Jerry Tan. Stay safe. See you again soon.